there's a network marketing company that has been gaining attention recently with global sales reaching over 1 billion US dollars last year. The gross sales of this company have grown by double digits annually for eight consecutive years since its founding in 2009. This is quite an impressive record. As today's guest on The Leader Show, we have invited the president of Atomy, Mr. Han Gil Park. We will learn about his very own management philosophy and the culture of his company that is less than 10 years old. We welcome President Han Gil Park of Atomy to our show. Hello. Hello, it's nice to meet you. I briefly mentioned in the opening that your company has achieved over $1 billion in annual gross sales. So I would assume the company would be fairly well known by now. But I think there are still many people who are not familiar with Atomy. Could you please give us a brief introduction of Atomy? Atomy is a direct selling company that distributes over 200 products, including health supplements, skincare products, cosmetics, and household essentials. Although many people have heard of the company, still, it's not yet widely known. One of the reasons for this is because of our sales through a membership system. Only members are able to purchase and use our quality products at affordable prices, and if members are satisfied with the products, they introduce them to others. Because of this system, if you have not been introduced yet, you may not have heard of Atomy. We have over 3 million registered members in Korea alone, and about 1.5 million members abroad. Our sales last year reached a total of 1.1 billion U.S. dollars worldwide. Exceeding the billion dollar mark in global sales, and with a presence in the international market as well, Atomy should be considered by all to be a highly successful company. But there are still some negative perceptions out there towards network marketing companies in general. Is there a specific reason why you chose the network marketing model for your company? Yes. I am very much aware that people do not always have a positive view of network marketing. And at the very beginning, even my wife tried to talk me out of it, asking, why network marketing? However, I had my own strong convictions about the network marketing model. If you look at the fundamental principles of network marketing, it is about acquiring quality products that I need at good prices, and after using those products and seeing the value in them, I would then introduce those products to other people around me. And if those people like the products, they will pass them on yet to other people, resulting in a kind of chain effect of purchasing and introducing. In this way, network marketing has the potential to be a very successful model in the distribution industry, creating many loyal consumer groups. So theoretically, there is no problem with this model, but if network marketing still has a bad reputation, it's because of scams in the past, such as pyramid schemes, which are something completely different from network marketing. Those involved in these illicit activities have deceived many innocent people. And when news of these illegal scams ends up going public, they are often collectively referred to as network marketing sales. Therefore, many people have this negative perception of network marketing since they mistakenly relate it to those illegal pyramid schemes. All network marketing companies are cons. People think network marketing and pyramid schemes are all the same and that they are both fraudulent and deceitful. This is untrue. And this is why the negative image of network marketing companies persists. Another reason for this negative perception is that even though it is perfectly legal, many network marketing companies tend to excessively mark up their products. People think that this is because the price includes the sales allowance paid to the members. In any case, expensive products can be quite a burden on consumers. So some network marketing companies are often reproached for overpricing their products and burdening their members, which is also an influencing factor that's contributed to the negative image of the network marketing industry. But if you simply follow the fundamental principles of network marketing, it can provide a valuable marketing channel for the manufacturers, as well as an effective way for consumers to acquire quality products at good prices. I had confidence that we could create such a healthy distribution channel. So I specifically chose the network marketing model to test out and prove my ideas. Fortunately, those who have used our Atomy products can attest to the product's quality and affordability, just as I had intended 
from the very beginning. I believe this is the reason that Atomy has been able to grow steadily to this day. It sounds like you built the company on the belief that as long as you sell great quality products at affordable prices and keep to the principles of network marketing, you will have high success as a distribution company. After looking at some data, I see that Atomy has grown by double digits every year for the past eight years since its founding. What would you say is the secret behind such a rapid growth? I don't think there's really any special secret. We are simply staying true to the principles of distribution. Even though it seems like the world is a complicated place, I think the principles that govern it are really fairly simple. I believe that selling high-quality products at good prices is the key to distribution. At Atomy, we therefore begin by selecting absolutely high-quality products. We call this absolute quality. And we sell this quality at a price that no one can match. We call this absolute price. So you can say that the secret is establishing the principle selling absolutely high quality products at an absolutely good price and sticking to this principle to the utmost. As you mentioned, the key to distribution is selling good products at a good price. It seems to me that consumers' trust is the most important factor. Yes. That's right. As you've just mentioned, the secret to Atomy's rapid growth is the consumer's faith in your quality products. And during the company introduction earlier, you also mentioned that Atomy distributes a wide variety of products from household essentials to home goods and even skincare and cosmetics. Among these, if there are any products in particular that have helped lead Anatomy to rapid success, could you briefly introduce them? One of the top-selling products at our company right now is Hemohim, and another is the Absolute Skincare line. Both of these products were a result of a government-funded research project that was headed by the Korean Atomic Energy Research Institute. The sales of Hemohim exceeded 150 million U.S. dollars last year, and the Absolute Skincare line brings in over 100 million dollars in sales every year. These are our two main leading products. In addition, Atomy's toothbrush and toothpaste are also very popular products. Our toothbrushes are said to be sold at a rate of almost one toothbrush per second. We sold about 27 million toothbrushes last year. And as for our toothpaste, we have sold about 100 million tubes of them to date. $150 million a year and over 100 million sold. These are outstanding figures. I actually did some research on Atomy for the show. And one thing that stood out to me was how Atomy focuses on a win-win relationship with its partnering companies. What kind of efforts have you been making to cooperate and grow together with your business partners? Uh, we adhere to a principle that we have established since our founding, which is a one-product, one-partner principle. This principle means that we only partner with one company per product. Thus, our partner company can manufacture products without worrying about who will be buying what they make. And unless our partner is dishonest with us, we would never switch to a different supplier. This allows our supplier to conduct more research and development on their products and invest more in their facilities in the long run. This is an example of how we support our business partners. Moreover, most of our products are supplied by small and medium-sized companies. If the products are of the same quality and price, we prefer those to come from small and medium-sized companies. In most cases, however, these companies have a lack of capital. They are short on money. In order to help relieve some of their financial difficulties, as long as the products we order arrive at our warehouses, we pay them in cash within one week of arrival, even before we start to sell those products. We pay cash, not with promissory notes or anything else. Many partner companies have said this payment policy was a big help in operating their businesses. I also say to them, if you have to go to the bank to borrow money, please come talk to Atomy first. Because in the case of borrowing money from a bank, they have to pay interest, and that interest eventually means higher prices for our customers. So, as long as we can afford it, 
We offer to make advance payments by which the company can use the funds with no interest. This is another example of our win-win efforts. Judging from your comments, it sounds like if a company simply becomes a business partner of Atomy, all will be very well. But I think some people may doubt if such a company as Atomy really exists. I'm not sure if I can ask you this, but could you please give us some real examples of what you have said? Of course I will. There was once a fire at a production line of Serum Foods, one of our partner companies. Although Serum Foods had their facilities insured against fire, they still faced some financial hardships. We provided financial aid in the amount of $1 million to support them in fully restoring their facilities and improving their production lines. As a token of their thanks, they increased the volume of each ramen bag by 17% without us even asking them to. As a result, our customers could enjoy more for their money. Their is also a company called Colmar B&H. When they first partnered with us, they were a small research company of only about three or four employees. But now, it has grown enough to be listed in the COSDAQ and has a corporate value estimated to be worth $1 billion. In fact, most of the small and medium-sized companies that have partnered with Atomy have grown by five or even tenfold. Their management indices clearly show that they have become very stable companies, both financially and in size. As an entrepreneur, I regard such an outcome as very meaningful and rewarding. After hearing about these real cases of how companies have experienced success after partnering with Atomy, I have more and more confidence in Atomy's management philosophy. Yeah.